Hello everybody, how are we doing? Welcome to a brand new video. I do not look like I'm in my workout gear and I am not. I'm just popping in to intro this video and say, hey, I am really, really excited for this one. It's very different for me, but actually filming it was so much fun and came like really naturally to me and I've actually got pretty confident filming in the gym now. So I'm really excited to see your guys' response, if you enjoy it, if you don't. In this week's video, we've got a week of workouts. I actually get asked probably more often than you would think, unless you are one of the people that does the asking, about my workout routine and my eating and stuff. I feel like it's something I talk about a lot and hopefully you guys are asking because you can see, I feel like I'm in a really amazing, gorgeous place with it at the moment. I feel like at this point in my life, it's probably the only point I can ever sit here and hands up, hands down say, I exercise right now because it makes me feel amazing. I exercise because it makes me feel great, it makes me feel so happy, and I enjoy it. I mean, I've always enjoyed exercise, but the motive has always come from something exterior or looks or those slightly more negative things. And I do think you're allowed to exercise for aesthetic goals or for like any reason you want because they can be like different and positive things for different people. But I think for the majority of us getting into exercise, if you go into it, kind of like seeing it as a chore and something to do to look better, get smaller, whatever it is, I think you just never end up sticking to it because your why isn't coming from a positive place. I'm not gonna waffle on too much about all of that, but I do just feel like right now I'm in such an amazing place. I'm currently exercising technically five times a week, but six sessions, which I'm aware is a lot, but I have, I'm feeling really good and I've got a lot of goals at the moment and I'm currently on like a 5K training plan. So my runs are a bit shorter, so it's easier to kind of fit in six. One of them is a double session day, which is obviously the first thing you're gonna see in this video. And other than that, I have two heavy lifting days, heavy for me, like the idea is heavy lifting. And then one kind of like more functional, fun kind of workout. And I feel like I've absolutely smashed it. I really wanted to make the perfect plan for me. I'm not a professional, I'm not a PT. This is what I do to have fun. All of my training that I'm doing in this program is by myself, the gym, like I've just put it together. It's what I enjoy, it's what I find works for me. But my running is programmed by Runner. So when you're listening to this, I have a code with Runner that actually goes live tomorrow. So a bit annoying, but if you do wanna use it, it goes live tomorrow. It's Megan2, which will get you two weeks free of Runner. Runner is the training program I use for, for my running and it is incredible. I'm sure you've seen a lot of people talk about it. Just quickly, why I love Runner so much is because it gives you paces and in your ears it will tell you to speed up or slow down, which I find really helpful because I don't wear a watch. Hopefully I'm gonna get a Garmin from Santa. So I don't really know what pace I'm running at, which sometimes I love and sometimes isn't very helpful because if I'm doing intervals, if I'm doing sprints, I don't know, but Runner will literally tell me to speed up or slow down in my ears. It's so great. Anyway, hope you enjoy this week of workouts. Mwah. Feeling super professional. We've got the podcast mic out for this one. Welcome to week of workouts. So of course, today is our first session of the week, which is always our double session day. So that starts with a gym workout, which is always a pool workout. I've actually just kind of rejigged my whole training plan because I found that it wasn't, com it wasn't really working with running. So now I've got three gym days a week, two of which I would say are like lifting days. One is a bit more like mobility, a bit fun, a bit more functional. And my three non-negotiables that I wanted to get in were my deadlifts, my hip thrusts and my squats. So I kind of moved my deadlifts over to my pool day. I mean, they are a pull exercise. And I've put them here because it really works on my double session. It's not too, too much on the legs because it's just these. And then I can go and smash a run afterwards. But today I went for another PB. My strength at the moment is just flying. So this was like 2.5 kg heavier than I'd ever done before this is 62.5 that face this is 62 and a half kg and I did this for my last two sets so my deadlifts are always five times five I start my heavy lifting days with a compound five times five if I'm on a brand new weight um sometimes I'll go four by five the next week I'll do the same weight for five by five but at the moment like I said I seem to be flying flying strength of fly, strength is flying so yeah that's what I'm doing and then I go on to assisted pull-ups and I've started to do these eight reps six reps and then four reps decreasing the resistance and the weight every single time so you're doing less reps but it's heavier and I'm finding this is really working for me I think next week I'm gonna take all of the weights up down 
less resistance. And then we went on to cables. This is a superset. I kind of just do two supersets at the at the end to get them over and done with. So we had face pulls, three by 12, and then we had tricep extensions, three by 12 as well. And then we're doing some supported chest rows, three by 10. They didn't have the weights that I normally use for these. So I just kind of worked on keeping it really slow. And then we went into biceps. Again, they did not have the same weight that I normally use. So I think I did three times 15 here, whereas normally I do like three times 12. And that is my pool day. First workout of the week done. It is actually Tuesday. I've got something very exciting going on today. I think a big part for me in my fitness journey at the moment is making sure that it's fun. I still wanna fit in like my six non-negotiable sessions, which does mean me doing one double session and I get it done at the start of the week either Monday or Tuesday. Like I said, my rest days and everything aren't Bible. I kind of take them when fits into my schedule. Like my fitness routine at the moment is very much like making sure I can fit in like fun run clubs and like social events and making sure that I've got rest days on the right day. So my rest days every day, every week are different. And I woke up yesterday feeling like a little bit sorry for myself. And like I needed a bit more of a slower start to get my life in order on Monday. And I didn't have it in me to go and do a double session. So I feel like I know myself quite well now. So I was like, okay, today's a rest day, fine. And actually really exciting because Molly texted me yesterday saying, do you want to go and do a 10K tomorrow and get a coffee? And I actually have, I use Runner for my running programming and I'm currently on their like 5K improver plan. And in the 5K improver plan on week six, which is the week I'm on right now, is your longest run a 10K. And I normally do my easy run, my short easy run, on my double session days, which this week is a 6K, so I would have gotten on now to do a 6K. But like I said, trying to be bouncy, trying to fit in fun where possible, and I literally have a 10K on my plan, and Molly asked me to go and do a 10K, so I was like, okay, might be a little bit hard to do it after a double session, but let's go for it, let's do it. Do as I say, not as I do. Quite an intense day. If you told me in January, I would be running 10K off the back of an intense pool session filled with deadlift PBs, I would have been like, what are you talking about? I'm just really, really good at the moment. And I'm loving focusing on like enjoying my fitness journey and like getting people involved in my fitness journey, going to the gym with my boyfriend, running with friends. And it's so fun and not revolving it around how I look whatsoever. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do catch a little glance of my bum and legs every now and then. I'm like, oh, we're looking good, but I'm no longer focused on that. I'm not sure how excited I am about the 10K. Molly is very fast, a lot faster than me. Obviously double session day means a little change in outfits when I come back. So I'm swapping my blazers. I wear high top blazers to train in because if you're doing compound lifts, like deadlifts and squats and all that good stuff, you want a really flat footed shoe so that like your foot has good contact with the ground. So I wear these to train in. And I think today I'm gonna wear, I think these are my favorite running trainers at the moment. I'm really, really loving them. They're not like the other train, the old trainers I used to have, they're super different. They're the New Balance Fresh Foam 1080s, I'm pretty sure. And I love them. I love them. They're so great. Molly actually has a pair too. So she's probably gonna be wear wearing them the exact same colorway. Probably gonna be matching. I do just keep my gym socks on because I don't really struggle with blisters when I'm running. I've got my Gymshark everyday seamless leggings on, which I've actually never run in before because I thought they fell down, but they were fine in that session. So I'm gonna keep them on and I'm gonna put on Gymshark, God sponsor me, Vital Seamless. And I'm either gonna do my Tata Form Tech on top because it's really cold these days, guys, or my Gymshark. I don't know what this is, but it's just like another long sleeve jacket. I think this one is a bit thicker. So I might just go my Tala one because it's cold, but it's not that cold. And we're also doing a 10K. Okay, we're on the 10K. I mean, how far are we? Um, Do I want to know? Surely like super close. A mile inch to go. Eh. Okay, well, like, miles to go. Two kilometers to go. E. God, don't say that. I thought we had like one. <laughs> For a point, I thought this is going to be like my fastest 10K ever. Turns out I think I'm just unfit at the moment. Don't but, put yourself down, you've just been to the gym. <laughs> True. But it's been a nice route, I've enjoyed that route. Good. With a friend. <laughs> Long run for the week done! Longest run of the plan. We did 10k in an hour. Oh my god, that's cute! We did 10k in an hour and 12. Molly very kindly went at my slow bean pace. Which is good, it was supposed to be 1k warm up, 4k 
724, 4K, 655. Cool down, okay? But same thing, like I said, a lot of my training at the moment is focused on having fun. So I enjoyed that. We're off to go and get a coffee. Because Molly is doing a TikTok series on like running and trying the best coffee in Manchester. So we're going to pro caffeinated. Being a girl is doing a um sorry. <laughs> That's a good picture. It's doing a 10k, getting a coffee and then getting an Uber home. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the comedy club the other night and he was like, girls be getting a lift to the 15th floor. Do you remember of the apartment building just to go on the stair bus? Yeah. <laughs> that is, if that isn't us. We found too far away. Good morning, everybody. It is um, day two. It's Wednesday. Really, should I be doing legs today? No, but Carter is here and... Whenever Carl's here, it's leg day. So I'm gonna go and do my lower body session, which is pretty much my old shreddy session. Ish, actually. The last like three exercises I got, I stole from my shreddy session because I just think they're so fun. We're in full Lulu today. Full Lulu align, actually, even my sports bras. And we've got navy leggings. The vibe is walk in pretty in pink and then hopefully get a squat PB. <laughs> I've tried to squat AE. Twice now? Two different sessions. Third time's a job. Two different sessions. For the first time, I tried three times. The first time I was like, Carter, you like picked it up before I even had a chance. Realistically, I probably wasn't actually strong enough then. I feel like now I definitely am. I did 65 for five by five last week. You're gonna absolutely smash it. Yeah, so should be should be strong enough. So that's the plan today. Okay, welcome to my favorite session of the week, but also the most hellish session ever. Like this is lethal, this is lethal, but I can't lie, the strength in my legs is like increasing so, so much. I was literally crying to my boyfriend the other day that I haven't been able to squat above 60 for like a year now. And it's always hit and miss if I can do it or not. And guys we are flying so this is me just warming up very important to warm up guys so i always like go up by like five kilos then 10 kilos and my boyfriend is like you don't need to be doing all of this warm up and i'm like let me just warm up properly and then i went for my 80 kilo squat so this is 70 actually again like i said warm up so i went in for 70 it flew my boyfriend was getting really excited that's why i was laughing guys i think we've got it <laughs> And I went in for my 80 kilo squat, which I said I have tried a good few times now. And I actually counted this as a big fat fail um, at first. So like that was shit. All right, we're good. We'll do it again. Yeah, that was shit. Do you agree? Yeah, that was shit. But as you see, the depth is decent. I mean, I'm a short girl. I don't have far to bend my legs. And then I was really upset that it was shit. So we went for it again. But first my boyfriend was squatting 190 today on his program. <laughs> failed i failed 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 my second 80 and it really pissed me off which is why i've kind of stopped trying to do it for a while because it just gets me in a bad mood afterwards but then i was like do you know what we're still gonna do what we said and i'm gonna up my working squat sets so this is 67.5 kg again for i think i did four times five actually i might have done five times five i don't think i did i think after trying 80 twice i did four sets of five of this and like i said next week um, depending on how they're feeling, I'll either do five times five or I'll just go for another, I'll just go for 70, but that seems a bit crazy ambitious. But these felt really, really solid. And then I've added these into my sessions recently because of my boyfriend. These are like dead squats. So the weight rests on the bar and you just power up. So it's a lot less weight on this. It's like 40 kilos on here and you really work on like bouncing back up, like being really explosive. I'm really bad at them um, because I... Like that's where my weak point is in squats, like just out of the hole. And then welcome to the superset from Actual Hell. This was introduced to me in my shreddy session and I absolutely hated it, but I also absolutely loved it. So we start with hip thrusts. I just do three times eight and then split squats. My back needs to be way more up in these. Do not take my form and anything I'm doing in here as Bible because I'm not a PT, but I do recognize that my back should have definitely been a bit more lifted there. And then into RDLs. And by this point, I'm normally really tired, but today I was like, you have been doing this way for ages and you know you can lift more. We've literally lifted more before. So every set here, I went up um, 2.5 kg. So I think I ended on 47.5 and I do three times eight on these. And that is the most 
lethal leg day ever. Five exercises, but Jesus Christ, you'll be shaking for the rest of the day. That session is absolutely woeful. <laughs> Both literally limping. But that session is making me hella strong. 67 squats, guys. Crazy. Anyway, smashed it. Can't wait to go back and watch my 80 kilo squat and see if I'm actually going to count it or not. I can't wait to go watch but... 80 times 2. <laughs> no, I screamed. I was so embarrassed afterwards. That's why I didn't stand back up. It's just, it's just, I was so it's frustrated. I know it was. So, it was so bad. It was so bad. It was so bad. That's how genuinely frustrated I was. Good morning, team. We are up and out. Well, we're not really up and out. If I'm honest, it's like quarter to nine. I read for like nearly two hours this morning. I'm just engulfed in twisted love. But I was also waiting for it to get light outside. Me personally, I won't be running in the dark. We're on an easy 6K this morning. As you can probably tell from my little plod. <laughs> Stopped to get myself a little drink. There was no water, so I grabbed a LucasAid. Normally I would never do that, but I'm kind of here just to enjoy this run. I'm pretty sore off the back of not that sore to be fair, but I can definitely feel yesterday's squat session <laughs> in the legs. So I'm just here to enjoy myself, literally go as slow as I want or as I need. So when I was like a bit thirsty, I was like, we'll just go and get a drink. So looks lady quiet. I think we're about like two and a half K in. So nearly halfway. 6K easy run done it was really quite easy i'll put well it was quite slow i'll put all of the stats on the screen for all my runs throughout the week we are now two sessions left i can't believe i've managed to film both of my big gym sessions this week i'm feeling proud of myself i am now kind of at this point where i'm like oh yeah it's thursday and i've still got two more sessions so i've only got like one rest day over the weekend and stuff like i would quite like two no i wouldn't yeah i think i took monday as a rest day but i just need like when I maybe didn't need to like, as in I wasn't like tired in my body, but I think mentally I kind of needed it. Part of me is now wishing I pushed through, but I just have to remind myself that in that moment, that is what I needed. So it's fine and it's done now. I'm just trying to stretch. I have a really, really, really awful habit of not stretching for one second really after a run or to be honest i'm not great at warming up either not gonna lie i'm really really loving my training and my running at the moment i'm just quite i've always kind of hated these distances five six seven k's when i finished my training for my first half marathon i like promised myself that i'd never make myself go on a 7k again but i'm kind of enjoying them i do think they take a little bit longer to settle into like as much of the run isn't as fun as it was when it's like a 10 etc but at the moment i don't know tens and stuff i just they just they're just feeling a bit scary and i'm also enjoying the shorter ones because well obviously it's winter we've got shorter days so it all just feels like a bit easier to fit in but that being said am i gonna say this on the internet there's potential kind of quite strong potential almost definite that i'm doing a very fun half marathon in february <laughs> february so that will be interesting to be honest so the way it's going to work is i'm currently on week six and i've got one more run so next week is technically kind of my last week on this plan we commence in the 11th the day you're watching this is my seventh of eighth week and then on the eighth week we've got like a tapers a tapers interval and like the 5k race like go and get a 5k pb hopefully which will be the 18th so then the week that is christmas so if I were to then on the week that is Christmas start my half marathon plan, run I have an eight week half marathon plan and because I've done two half marathons and I've been running like I'm not starting from fresh, I think I can like I can do it in eight 100%. I think I'm going to do that and the reason I'm saying like the week starting Christmas you're probably thinking what the heck like have that week off and I'm, I probably will like I don't know we'll see like maybe I'll just miss the first week of the plan we'll see. But I think I'm going to go back down to two runs when I start my half marathon plan. Just because they'll naturally be longer. I won't be doing under like 7k often at all. So just the sheer volume and like I said with it being dark and just being able to get that much in. And then it leaves room for me to like go and do my 5k run clubs and stuff. 
after the new year, I don't want to have like three big runs and then I lose the socialness out of my running journey. I hope you're liking these voiceovers. I don't know if I'm doing a very good job at explaining. I'm more here for a good time, not a long time. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, starting my favorite session of the week. Like, I just think this one is so much fun. We got all strapped up and did some walking lunges. Same as me with my RDLs earlier in the week. I was like, you're being a pussy here get the tens on your hand. And with walking lunges, what is really important, because you probably see me wobble there, is to make sure you're coming up on one leg and then not stepping down onto the other leg until you're putting that foot out in front. You'll see me tap it a few times and wobble because I thought I was gonna fall over. But the whole idea is that that leg doesn't touch the floor until it's like lunging. Anyway, I do that with a superset with these upright rows and shoulder presses. Like I said, I'm just having a bit of fun here. It's kind of full body, it's kind of running focus and that superset kind of like gets me sweaty, gets me really warm, is quite hard work and then it's over and done with. And then I'm doing some fun like pistol squat practice, which I'm really enjoying. I've just moved down to like a lower box last week. The walking lunges is three times 20 and the shoulder press is a three times 10. And then I'm doing two sets of 10 on these on each leg. I don't know, it feels like it's enough. And it's just, like I said, a fun little play around. I really enjoy doing them. On to triceps. It's random this one, but we love it. I realized I don't do much other than my tricep pull downs. So I just kind of tried these the other day. I was like, yeah, I, I quite enjoy these. So I do just three times eight on these. And then we go on to calves. This is for running. And recently I have added in, this was actually my first week doing it properly, but some hip abductors and abductions. I always forget which is which. Just because I've realized recently in running and stuff and when I'm squatting, my hips aren't that stable and they're a bit sore. And my boyfriend does clamshells and he is like, I think they've changed the game for me. Like I'm really feeling really stable in my hips. So calves is like three times 12 or 15, whatever I feel like going for. And then on that, I did three times 20. And then on this one, I was actually really struggling. This is where oh, you can see me massaging. This is where I realized that hip is sore with the pushing out. So I kind of just messed around. I went for a heavier weight for less. And then I went for a lighter weight for more just to see what felt good. Like I said, it was my first time introducing them properly in a while. And then it's time for skipping. I love my skipping. Tell me you have small boobs without telling me you have small boobs. I can skip in a minimal sports bra. I mean, they are kind of bouncing, which, is <laughs> which made me feel a bit uncomfortable. So I will wear a different bra next time, but it's absolutely woeful. I do 10 minutes, one minute on, 30 seconds rest, and then one minute on. Do I get solid minutes of skipping every time? No, I actually trip sometimes and that's okay. It's just good fun. I'm finding it really hurts my calves, which is good because I get nice strong calves for running. So no, I'm just having fun with it at the moment. And then I go on to abs and I kind of just do three sets of whatever I'm feeling that day some Russian twists, some leg lifts. I do plank here. I do always include a plank, but sometimes I'll do standing oblique. Sometimes I'll do crunches. Sometimes I'll do whatever I'm feeling, but I do always try and end it with plank. So I'll do three different exercises, three times round, superset in it. And one of those, the last one will always be a plank. And today, because the camera was there, I was like, oh yeah, my bum, let's really focus on like tucking that and like making sure I'm in good form. And I literally thought I was going to be sick. Like it made it so much harder. But that is my fun little session that I'm loving doing at the moment. I think it's the no compounds. It's a nice little break. <laughs> good morning. I just want to let you into this little moment right now that's happening in my head. Just because I do not want to put this video out there and be like, look, every day is an easy day because it's not, especially with running this time of year and like waking up and it being dark and timings in general, like it's just not always easy. And I have kind of been dreading this session all week. I love my interval sessions once I get going, but this week I have 7K of intervals, which is the longest intervals I've ever had. And it just feels a bit scary. And it is absolutely chucking it down. Like, chucking it down and I woke up late because I have been really tired the last few days like really tired I was up filming until like 11 the other night which just isn't like me at all didn't yet sleep till like 12 which I couldn't tell you last time I'd done was back up at like half six I've just been really tired and all week I've been like Saturday I'll have a lion but I'm actually going to London to see Chi and go to Winter Wonderland so I woke up late and now I've got an hour ish just under an hour until I would need to leave for my London train that I've booked I can get on any train, but I'm like, I would love to have the Saturday I said I was gonna have. I've woke up a bit late, I've had porridge, I've been cleaning my flat, I've been packing. I would love to just like wash my hair, have a coffee and like go to the station. I really don't wanna go and do 7K of intervals in the absolute pouring rain just to go and get a late train to see my friend that I see like once a year if I'm lucky. There's obviously a time when all of your priorities can coincide and you can get everything done, but today I just kind of feel like I don't wanna. 
do my run. I don't I don't want to have to text my best friend and say, sorry, I got a later train because I wanted to go on a run. I'd like to be there when I said I was gonna be there. We'll try and do this run tomorrow. Um, I'm kind of like, you have to get this run done tomorrow. It's a week of workouts, but then it's not the end of the world. I'm not really training for anything. I was excited to do it. I'm only saying that because when I get back tomorrow, it will be dark. Hello, it is Sunday night. And instead of feeling actually really, really tired and not wanting to do this, I'm actually gagging for some movement. It is half five, so it's not late. So I'm not worried about like people not being out, like the cars, the cars there, you know, it's busy. Also, don't even talk about my outfit. I just tried to put something bright on. I literally was just walking on the road because I just got the tram back literally about five minutes ago and I'm trying to just get out super fast. Cause like I said, there is cars about, it's busy. So I'm just gonna stay on the main road I've put the brightest top on that I own. Get out, get moving. If at any point I'm like, I don't feel great, I wanna go back. You know, like, I feel myself looking around and whatnot. I'm just gonna come back. It's a 7K interval. I'd love to get it done, but like I said, if I just feel unsafe at any point, not my priority. I'm about to text my boyfriend saying, I'm going on a run. If I don't text you in about an hour's time saying I'm back, come looking for me. Okay, I'm just about to finish my warm up and I'm feeling good and I'm actually feeling really safe as you can see it's all quite light and this is probably the darkest bit there's been i'm probably just gonna lap what i've done twice just because yeah feels good feels safe i'm excited to do this run okay guys i've missed something because it's actually the busiest night ever so it's worked out well but i've also got a scooby what's going on <laughs> wow i'm actually feeling so good and this is actually going really well oh, i'm just trying to figure out now what i want to do because there's a lot of traffic lights on obviously on the main road and i've got my 400 meter and 200 meter interval left it's been like a pyramid so it went two four eight one point two and now i've just done the eight so now i've got the four and the two and yeah i'm just trying to figure out where i'm going to get the best stretch with no traffic lights but i'm so glad i'm out and doing this i feel so good now smile that is why we do this that is why we do what we do i feel absolutely incredible i feel unbelievable this is like the best i felt like coming off of a run in a long long time and i'm not even too sure why it's always the ones where like you didn't think you were gonna do it like not only did i not think i was gonna get out in the first place like not get around to doing it but i was also just like quite scared i, I put like a short sleeve on just for like an extra layer which is why i like that's there, I'm aware the colour combo is not cute, but ignore it. Yeah, but I was actually like just a bit nervous for it, but I fucking smashed it. Like I smashed the intervals. Really proud of myself, feeling so good. So, so cannot tell you how glad I am that I managed to fit it in and get it done. Was so busy, was so light. There's some kind of lights Christmas display thing going on in Media City and that's normally where I run to. Yeah, I fucking smashed it, I feel unbelievable. Like this here, this smile here is why I try and keep myself disciplined to do all of my sessions just because I know now it's only half six on a Sunday evening. I know now I'll, I'll be sat on my sofa, showered, chilling in a dressing gown, pajamas on, dinner ready, like film on, feeling amazing, feeling really accomplished, like, well done, you did it, you managed to have a really great week, see your friends, go to London, have a really chilled Sunday morning with like a coffee and a Christmas film, but managed to still smash all of my workouts. And that is why I do what I do now. And it's always had an exterior motive behind it as well, which there's nothing wrong with, but I don't feel like I've ever been in the place where that other motive was coming from something positive. But right now I just feel like, you know, there was no other reason for me going out on that run and getting in in the dark other than like, I wanted to smile like this. I, I wanted to finish my, finish my Sunday. Like I did my run, I seen my friend. Now I get to sit and chill and like, it just feels, you just feel so much better sitting down, like feeling accomplished. But I really hope you've enjoyed this week of workouts. I really hope it's given you some motivation to just exercise for fun because that is what we are here to do. And that is what we should all be doing. And it really does work. Like. It's easier to get out, it's easier to stick to it, it's easier to motivate yourself, it's easier to stay disciplined when you know you're doing it just because you enjoy it and it puts a fucking smile on your face. So, oh, I feel incredible. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you wanna see more. I'm really keen to see how you guys react and respond to this video because it's obviously, I've never done this before. It's quite different from my channel, but a lot of you always ask about it. So yeah, I will see you on Monday with a very fun Christmassy vlog.